So I'm gonna grab it, pull towards you. Pinch, move that little guy. And then you're gonna swipe. Barely put any adhesive on it. And then you're gonna swipe and remove any extra glue. Because with the Pro Handmade Fans, you're going to, when it's dry and you put it into like a container or anything, and then you go back to it for a client, you're going to have to redip it. So when you make them right now, you barely want any kind of glue. Sorry. Redip it for your client's lashes. It's not going to be too heavy and then break it off. And then set it down, let it dry. Let's do it again. Grab it towards you move those pinch and then swipe swipe and then remove access and like as you guys can see there's no extra glue it's not going to damage my clients lashes when I use these because it's barely anything on it just to seal the ends so it doesn't fall apart. That's how it's supposed to look when you pre-make them. You don't want them, if they end up looking like this, they look like this when you make them and it's a big blob of glue at the end, that's not good. If you put this on your client's lashes, you're going to make them prematurely break off. So when you make them, make sure that you have no bubbles of glue. It's literally just a clean, flat, a clean, flat surface to where you can't even tell if there's glue on them or not. And then let's do this. You want to swipe it. Swipe, swipe, and then remove any extra glue. Okay. This is how every single fan should be looking like. There shouldn't be any extra glue on the bottom. The best way to store it is what you can do is get an empty container. And then, ooh, get the last one stuck. Okay, get an empty, empty container. And then when they're dry, you just simply place them in there like this. And then when you put them in here, if you're making multiple like freestyle ones, you wanna just make sure that you label it and you know that it's a freestyle set or it's a 10D set that you made or 5D. You just want to make sure. And you want to make sure that you keep in track of the curl that you used as well. Okay, so you can put it in a tray like this. It's not going to hurt them if they overlap like that. Because you just simply pick it up. And pick it up. And boom, they're ready, okay? So that's one way. This is a perfect example right here. Of what happens when there's too much glue like you can't even pull it off of the paper without ripping off the lashes so imagine when this is your client's natural lash and you're trying to remove it for a fill and it has too much glue her natural lashes and the extensions are just gonna pull right off and then the glue base is going to be stuck on her client on your clients natural lash see there's no way that you're gonna get it off. So please, whenever you make them, don't use a lot of glue at all. You barely just wanna coat it. And then another way is to get the double-sided tape and then an empty lash case, okay? And then with the double-sided tape, you place it in the in the tray
So you can either do it in rows like this, or you can do it a little bit smaller and do it across. And then you can do it across. So then after that, remove that eyelash hair. So then you're gonna grab the ones that you make and you can place it like this. Grab another one, place it like that. Or you can, on the cross one, you can place it on the very top. Like that. And then, you, that's another way to store them. And when you put it on the tape, it's not hard to take them off. You just simply grab it and you go. Grab it. Go. Grab it. Go. Super easy. It doesn't ruin the fans at all. So this is another way that you can store it. Alright guys, so if you guys have any questions on certain parts or the products that I use or anything like that, or you guys want to see a different type of video, Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Alright, see you guys on the next video.